where negative 14 lufs comes from, why everyone's saying, oh, different masters for different streaming platforms. No. We have three agencies here. European Broadcast Union, that's in Europe. AES, that's in the US. And ITU, which weirdly, if you didn't know, is the United Nations. And the problem they were trying to solve is that people were complaining that there was inconsistent loudness in program material. So these, these people tackled it. And their solution, we're going to normalize all broadcasted audio across everything to negative 23 lufs. And then we're going to push quiet material up a little, and we're going to push loud material down a little, and they'll all end up in the same place, and then we'll be very, very consistent. Why would we pick negative 23? That is a very low value. It supports pre-existing varied material. And a lot of material that had been made since way back when was a lot quieter than the stuff we're making today because we didn't have tools to make things loud without messing up the sound really bad. They're trying to avoid upward normalization, pushing things up. You push something down, that's safe, but if you try to turn the volume up on a signal, and that signal already has peaks at zero, you're pushing those peaks into overs. So upward normalization is bad. That's why they picked such a low value. They say, okay, you know what? <sighs> Maybe we messed up because negative 23 lufs is really, really, really quiet. And personal music players like phones, they suck. The user is going to have to turn that volume knob up really high in order to hear it at the listening volume they want. And then it's going to have a lot of noise in it. So you know what? How about negative 16 to negative 20? We're still not at negative 14. What's the problem now? Well, different tracks on an album have different volumes relative to one another. And the artistic vision of the album might require them to be balanced differently. If we're normalizing them all to be exactly the same relative volumes to each other, we're ruining that part of the album listening experience. So let's give it two lefts. We'll take the loudest track on the album and we'll normalize that one to negative 14 and then we'll use the same gain factor across the rest of the album. Now we finally ended up on negative 14. It's not some magical number that has anything to do with audio quality, that has anything to do with anything else other than this series of compromises after coming up with negative 23.